Hi guys, it's Dave from What's Brown UK and today I thought I'd bring uh, one of my brews to the table which has been done on all the forums and I thought I'd do a video just to show everybody it's called uh, Wurzel's Orange Wine uh, funny enough because it's made with orange and it's a wine and uh, the guy who thought of the recipe is called Wurzel he's on all the forums and um, He's put the recipe on there, so I thought I'd make it. Um, I've already made one, and I've got one going with some wow, what they call wow variants. Uh, wow standing for Wurzel's orange wine. Although uh, when I did see um, people in the forums what they were brewing, it all it's always said wow. So uh, it wasn't World of Warcraft. Never mind. So uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do and what we'll be using very cheap very easy and uh, good way to get a sort of experiment on different flavors because you don't have to stick with these flavors you can change them about a bit hence uh, the term a wow variant so we'll go through some of the things that you need all right so the first thing you need Demi John doesn't have to be glass it could be one of these plastic things that I bought the dear. This is um, full of water. I bought some of these particularly to um, to brew in, like proper brew ones, but they're exactly the same as these and they were the same price, so comes with water, which I'll use in a brew anyway, so all I need to do is drill a hole in the top for the, uh, for the bump. Uh, so we'll use that at some point. So yeah, uh, glass demijohn with a rubber bone and the uh, the hubbly bubbly pipe on the top to let the gases escape uh, we'll need some sugar around about 800 grams of sugar which I'm going to dilute uh, in some hot water on a pan on the stove so uh, 800 grams uh, this is the main ingredient so orange it's a litre of orange it's, uh, this one happens to be 100% pure orange, made from concentrate. Uh, you can get the freshly scrubbed, but this is just the cheapest one I will pick up on the deer. And the other thing is a litre of white grape juice, which happens to be 100% um, white grape. Again, a litre. So, all together we've got two litres. Um, a lot of people change these around a little bit uh, instead of white grape you can use red grape um, or you can use something like pomegranate and orange or you know change the orange for something totally different uh, that's when it becomes a wow variant um, but I'll show you some of the ones that I've done and uh, you sort of see what I mean uh, all I've done is I've changed the, uh, the orange juice for uh, like a pomegranate and different flavours so it's always got a white grape and you know I'll, I'll try it around with different ones later on but uh, for this particular one I'm using 100% orange juice a litre and a litre of white grape juice uh, the other things we need a little chemicals is uh, some glycerin bought from the local bakery Nile in the supermarket uh, yeast nutrient we're going to need a tablespoon of that uh, wine yeast doesn't have to be posh just uh, this super wine yeast will do a tablespoon of that and pectolius and a tablespoon of that um, I've got a little measuring thing but you can use a you know normal tablespoon doesn't have to be um, actually it's a teaspoon sorry so a teaspoon of glycerin teaspoon of uh, yeast nutrient, ye uh, a teaspoon of super wine yeast, and a teaspoon of pectolase, and that's why I've got a teaspoon mirror. It um, doesn't have to be exact, you could just use a little teaspoon, but uh, that's what I'm going for. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'll show you everything there. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to boil the 800 grams of sugar in a pan. 
um, because I'm boiling it with the water it'll end up like a sugary syrup and uh, and I'll wait for it to cool down uh, the other thing I've got is tannin uh, I haven't got any tannin powder so all I've did obviously the uh, I've got a tea bag in there massing away it's still hot so I'm going to wait for that to cool down so obviously it uh, tastes a lot better if it comes in a in a Union Jack mug Olympics and all that so uh, yeah come back in a bit and I'll uh, this should be cool and uh, the sugar should be dissolved and cooled and we'll get on with the uh, with the making it back in a bit okay guys so here we are we've had to change location because me uh, missus is watching the telly so we've got our demi john it's all been sterilised, cleaned I've got a funnel on the top um, so I don't uh, miss out on anything uh, and what we're going to do we're going to put in our um, grape juice first then our orange juice no reason for that order we're just that's the way we're going to roll so the first thing is the grape juice Next thing is the orange juice. Bang on the window. Stop the dog from bottom. And it's uh, you've got to use the big one without bits in. For some strange reason. I think it's because the bits inhibit the uh, Do something while it's brewing. So that's a litre of orange juice. In there like that. There we go. Now then, we've also got our um, cup of tea that. Uh, now cool down. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put our sugar water in. This is our water that we've had sugar in. 800 grams of sugar diluted in water, so we'll pour that in. Like so. You can see it's a bit thicker than there. Normal water. So that'll go in. And then once this is all poured in, we shall put our tea in, which is going to act as our tannin. I'll put all the descriptions of everything in the, in the bottom of the video. Last thing, a cup of tea. There we go. And you see that's give it a bit of a dark tinge. Now all we need to do now is put our um, chemicals in, which we'll do in a minute. Uh, just a quick tip, this is very, very volatile when it ferments for the first few days. Do not fill it up to here because it has a tendency to just come straight out of your, I mean, any um, blow off tube or whatever you've got so only fill it to about sort of the bottom of the neck and then when it does all its fermenting and it calms down a bit you can top it up with water to sort of the neck so that's the top tip 
Right, so the next thing is to add some chemicals and give it a shake. Back in a bit. Alright, so now to add the chemicals. So we're going to start off with a teaspoon of pectolase, a teaspoon of yeast nutrient, a teaspoon of the yeast compound, and then lastly the glycerin. Uh, this is to give better mouth feel after it's all done. Right, so I'll pop you back on the stand and we'll put uh, it up a little bit. Right, so the first thing we're going to use is the pectolase. So here we go. Enough. Next one, yeast nutrient. There we go. Make sure it's all there. Down over there. And the last one is the yeast. Shake. There we go. And that's all in. And what we'll do is we'll top it up just a little bit with some uh, water. And we're going to give it a shake. So back after the shakeage. Right, I'm just going to put some kettled water in when I'm getting out of the kettle. Not too much. Just to bring the level up a little bit. This is everything that I've added today has all been room temperature. I'll take it all about there. You could put a little bit more in, but uh, I'll just uh, put the last ingredient in. Which is the uh, the glycerin, which is quite thick. There we go, and then we'll give it another shake, just a clean hand over the neck of the bottle. So that's all done. I'm going to put the airlock on in there, put a bit of water in, and then we'll come back in uh, 24 hours and we'll see what the score is. Hopefully, we won't get a volcano out the top of that one. So, there we go Wurzel's orange wine, and uh, we'll show you some variants. Made exactly the same way. Alright, so uh, this is 24 hours later. Do a head on there. Get my pump on there. Get a nice bubble. So that's going. So that's basically after about 24 hours. Uh, this one I did about a week ago. You can see it's got a selection on the bottom. It's a different colour, you can see it's gone a little bit lighter, so that's what it's like after about a week. And, um, so that's a, another wow I did, so orange and white grape. I did another one, which is blueberry and white grape. And you can see, uh, this is after a week, and they're still all there. Uh, so that's the uh, blueberry in my grape. This one is uh, pomegranate and white grape. Again, it's been in there about a week, and uh, it's 
little bubble in the way every now and then and the other one is a cranberry and white grape and uh, pomegranate about a bubble that was the blueberry that was the pomegranate and you can see the the fermenting still there uh, quite strong gives a bubble there you go so all of these are wow variants apart from these these two are wows and these are wow variants so basically just exactly the same except instead of orange juice we re replaced it with you know on these cranberry pomegranate and blueberry there's nothing to stop you from changing the white grape to red grape nothing to stop you from mixing cranberry with orange juice or blah de blah but that's what we're growing at the moment so I'll keep this posted on this little lot so that's your wow so hopefully it'll give you some ideas and uh, get you to make some uh, some of these brews these by the way are going to get topped up because uh, I don't think they're going to do anything exciting now so they're going to get topped up to the neck and then left for about 21 days uh, then we'll rack it off into a another demijohn and then what we'll do is we'll add some finings you know clear it out and in another video I'll show you the the finished product so there you go video on how to do a well